Annyeong haseyo. You ain't a hell of a GAO. Well, some months ago, I, uh, I did a video where I talked about the best K-dramas to start when you start watching K-dramas. Some of you out there have never really gotten started with K-dramas. They haven't never seen one before. You might even listen to IU Music, but you haven't, you've really not watched K-dramas. Well, I think K-dramas are just incredible. I think the, uh, the modern K-drama is, um, it has the phenomenal production values. The acting is just as good as you can get. Um, and the stories are interesting, they're original, and they're, they are, they have an optimism to most of them, and they have a lack, uh, let's say, a lack of cynicism in most of them that's just refreshing after the, uh, uh, in comparison to what is done in Western media. So, um, I think there are three K-dramas that are ideal for starting your journey into K-dramas. And I pick these three partly because they're really great starters, but also because all three are available on Netflix. And for most people, Netflix is the only uh, medium that they have uh, available to them to get to do streaming. I mean, there are other more dedicated streaming services, you know, that provide a lot more content in uh, Korean content like Viki, which I subscribe to. Um, but Netflix is common and it has a pretty good collection of K-dramas and these three are all on it. Okay, so these are the three, and I, in no particular order, and I'm going to have an honorary mention of another in the event that you're a serious watch, a watcher of serious material. Okay, I think uh, probably the easiest K-drama to get into the genre with is Extraordinary Attorney Wu. It's a story of the first uh, autistic uh, attorney in Korea, and uh, it's charming, it's a rom-com, it, uh, it covers... Um, some, it covers some serious topics, but it does it in an incredibly entertaining way, and uh, there's a, just a beauty to it. Uh, it uh, stars Park and Bin for the female lead, and uh, Kang Teo as the male lead. It is really great, and I've never recommended it to someone who didn't watch it and tell me that this was fantastic. It is, in fact, the drama I almost always tell people they should start with, unless I tell them they should start with number two. Hotel de Luna. Now, as many of you might realize, <laughs> yeah, like anybody who watches this channel knows, uh, I'm a huge IU fan, and Hotel de Luna is fantastic. It uh, it is so different. It's so beautiful. I mean, the costuming is beyond belief. Uh, the the stories are clever. Um, I abs the whole idea of the show is so fantastic. It's a story about uh, a hotel for. Um, uh, for the, the the recently deceased. It's a hotel where people can recover themselves and be ready to move on to the afterlife. So that's the the whole setup for the hotel. And it's run by um, uh, Zhang Monwal, which of course is IU. Um, I just love this one. Absolutely love this one. I've watched it multiple times, partly because I'm a fan of IU and partly because it's just so much fun to watch. Um, and it's it's kind of fun. An interesting element to it is uh, Zhang, Zhang Manwal, which is IU's character, is someone who's being punished, and that's why she has to run this hotel. And she's punished for what she did 1,300 years ago. So she's 1,300 years old, and um, and you get to see the the backstory or the story of her origin, how she got here, is shown to you bit by bit by bit by bit by bit throughout the show. So you finally get the full picture of what this what her her sin was all about by the end of the show i think by episode 15 before you see the last piece uh nothing so terrible in my opinion but nonetheless she needs to be able to move on so i think this is a great starter show i think it's incredibly fun and again i recommend this and everybody's super happy uh, as a way to start into k dramas so this is great uh number three is more recent it's business proposal now business proposals you know kim se jong in it and uh on his hill soap uh but you know, i gotta tell you kim se jong is really a she's so much she's a really good actress and and of course she's a wonderful singer too uh in fact i think her rendition of love wins all is the best version i've heard other than when it's sung by iu herself anyway it's she's fantastic 
uh, and the show is a lot of fun. And it's a story about uh, uh, two friends, one who's wealthy and is being set up for a relationship, uh, marriage with another wealthy guy, uh, you know, the table. And uh, she doesn't want to go, so she sends her friend. And her friend pretends to be her, and that's the start of the show. Uh, I'm not going to tell you more about it. It's a lot of fun. Um, uh, I, everybody who's seen it has raved about how much they like it. By the way, I like it a lot, too. Uh, so these are the three that I think are easiest uh, to get into the genre with. There are other shows I absolutely adore. I mean, I've watched approximately 300 shows, um, and there are dozens that I think are fantastic, dozens and dozens. Um, in fact, when I tried to do a top 10 list, you could find another, find that somewhere else. I couldn't restrict it to 10. I had to uh, come up with 17, and, and I realized I missed a, an important one, so it should have been 18. There are some... I love Korean dramas. I think they're a breath of fresh air, and there's nothing being done in any of the media that can compare. That's my opinion. I should also mention that the soundtracks in these dramas are fantastic. They're great soundtracks, and they are great, um, and, and their, the production is fantastic. One last recommendation I would make for people who are really very, who prefer their material very serious. Um, and I, I just have to recommend my favorite show of all time, which, which is My Mister, which is a serious drama about uh, healing. It's, a, it's tough in a lot of spots. It ends well, but it is, uh, it's a very serious drama. It stars IU. I think I've already explained how much I love IU many times. Uh, but it's such a wonderful drama that if you really don't want to see the lighter fare and you're into something heavier, I, My Mister is pretty extraordinary. I always have to, I have to mention it because it's my favorite of all time. Okay, so that's my recommendation for uh, the three shows that you should use to get into K-dramas if, if you are not there yet. Of course, if you've already started with K-dramas and you haven't seen these, which is, in my opinion, impossible, well, of course you're supposed to run out and see them. Okay, that's my live, sit in front of the camera, uh, <laughs> diatribe of uh, probably the last couple of months. I don't do this a lot where I sit in front of the camera and just talk. Well, this was it. Okay. Uh, I, I'm so happy you come to join me, all of you who do, and thank you to all the subscribers I have. And of course, if you like this channel, please subscribe, and if you like the video, click the like button, and let's have our final calque.